Is Webb evolutionary or revolutionary? Every time you put a new piece of technology into space or you look at the universe with different eyes, you, you learn something revolutionary. Incredible, unbelievable things are out in the universe waiting for us to discover them. These mysteries fuel astronomers to search further into the universe and learn as much as they can about the nature of the cosmos. This drive has led to the creation of the most powerful telescope ever made. It has the ability to peer back in time and gaze at the universe as it was less than one billion years after the Big Bang. What will the most sophisticated space telescope ever built be able to show us? Today, we're looking at six discoveries astronomers hope to find with the James Webb Space Telescope. Number six, a much closer look at black holes. Astronomers hope to get another closer look at black holes and how they behave. Black holes are one of the most mysterious objects that have been found in the universe, but there is still much that we have to learn about them. One of the problems faced when scientists try to study black holes is that they cannot be detected using visual light, so traditional telescopes won't be able to see much of a black hole. To get around this problem, astronomers have been using X-ray telescopes designed to observe objects in the X-ray spectrum to study black holes. But X-ray telescopes have their limitations as well, and black holes are known to emit many other forms of radiation. The James Webb Telescope is equipped to observe light in the infrared region of the light spectrum, which will allow it to see much more when looking at a black hole. It will allow astronomers to study what is happening in the clouds of matter swirling around black holes and better understand the process of black holes feeding and growing over time. Number five, witness the birth of stars. The James Webb Telescope will be able to witness stars being born throughout the cosmos. Because there are countless stars in our universe, it might come as a bit of a surprise that there are quite a number of things that scientists do not know when it comes to their birth. Astronomers have not been able to watch stars being formed, and there is still a debate going as to how this process unfolds. The common belief is that they primarily form in massive clouds of dust and gas. Gravity will slowly start bringing this matter together. And when enough of it comes together and it becomes dense enough, the process of nuclear fusion will begin in its core and the new star begins its life. But because this occurs in clouds of dust and gas, the telescopes that we are currently using have a hard time trying to pierce that dark veil and see the process happening behind it. With the new James Webb Telescope and its massive array of capabilities, astronomers will get to peer beyond this dusty curtain for the first time they will be able to watch new stars forming and better their understanding of that process. Number four, the formation and growth of early galaxies. Astronomers are going to use the James Webb Telescope to look back at the formation of the universe's earliest galaxies. There are an estimated 100 to 200 billion galaxies in the observable universe, depending on who you ask about it. Using the Hubble Space Telescope and others, astronomers have theorized that galaxies began to form within the first billion years of the birth of the universe. Some of these galaxies are still around today, but scientists are not sure what led to the first galaxies forming and how the environment of the early universe played a role in their formation. The hope is to study the growth of early galaxies to try and understand more about the conditions of the very early universe, which can lead to a better understanding of our universe as a whole. Because light travels at a fixed speed, looking farther into space is equivalent to looking at the universe at an early time, and this telescope is designed to look further back than ever before. The James Webb Space Telescope will be able to look back at the time of the first galaxies and will allow astronomers to study them as they are being born. Number three, how the cosmic structure grew. The James Webb Space Telescope will be able to peer far back in time and study the structure of the universe as it began and grew. It is designed to peer into the past as far back as just 100 million years after the Big Bang. That's nearly 13.6 billion years ago. 
Astronomers are going to use this capability to learn about the growth of the universe and how its structure grew to the point we are at today. Science still has many unknowns when it comes to how our universe evolved and why it is organized in the way it is. If this telescope is able to collect the data that scientists are hoping for, it could help answer many of these questions that have been left unanswered up to this point. The information gathered may contain the evidence needed to help solidify current theories such as the Big Bang or help lead astronomers towards the correct answer. Number two, find planets that can support life. Every star in the galaxy has at least one planet. That means that there are more planets in the galaxy than there are stars. Hundreds of billions of planets. The James Webb Space Telescope will help astronomers search for habitable exoplanets throughout our galaxy. It is equipped with a large array of sensors and other instruments that will allow the many astronomers on the hunt for life to search for exoplanets and see what different chemicals are present on them. The telescope is more sensitive than any of its predecessors, which will allow scientists to pick up more detailed information than ever before. Exoplanets are typically found by looking at stars and waiting to detect the tiny shift in a star's emitted light as the exoplanet passes in front of it. James Webb is sensitive enough to pick up changes in the light as it passes through the atmosphere of the planets. These changes can then be used to discover what elements are present on the planet. Scientists know that life as we know it releases specific kinds of chemicals. We inhale oxygen and exhale carbon dioxide, while photosynthesizing plants do the opposite. The James Webb Telescope will be able to detect these chemicals and can help astronomers find exoplanets that are capable of harboring life.